Merry Christmas, everyone. My name is Carrie. This is Tiger Lily Designs. Welcome to day nine of the 12 days of Stitchmas. We're getting close to the end, but it's okay. Don't be sad because today I've got two fantastic companies for you. Two small businesses in the world of Etsy that are getting us some great gadgets and notions and finishing and fun that we need for our stitching. You are going to love it. And I had so much fun doing it and sharing them with you. But without further ado, before I forget, pull out your crossword puzzle, friends. It is the word of the day. The word of the day today is Merry. Like Merry Christmas. It's right here on 10 across day nine. So enter in Merry. Now, just a friendly reminder. Remember, the word of the day is for two reasons. One is the crossword puzzle grand prize you know what I'm talking about if you don't go back to day one I give you all the details of what this is how it works but that's what you're gonna need to enter into the grand prize of the 12 days of stitch miss but as well as a grand prize we also have daily giveaways and so to enter into the daily giveaways you're going to use the same word Mary is today's word you're gonna use it down in the comments below you want to make sure that you like the video that you subscribe to the channel hit the bell notifications if you want to know when I put a video out but you at least need to subscribe to the channel as well as use the word Mary down in your comment now sometimes depending on the day whether it's a stitch and knit type of combo today's daily giveaway there's going to be one winner you're gonna win a crazy awesome package let me just tell you this is almost like a third giveaway. Let's just be honest, because the goodness that is in today's daily giveaway is gonna blow your mind. But let's just dig what in. You wanna see what we got? So first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you, like I said today, unlike some other days, I've got two cross-stitch realm small businesses. Um, one of them, neither one, both new to me here in the last six months or so, but I do wanna go ahead and just jump right into it. As always, I do have a Tiger Lily finish, and the Tiger Lily stitch finish is actually on one of the fantastic finishing pieces that we're going to look at. So the first thing I'm gonna do right now, instead of clipping away and showing you an Etsy shop, we're gonna clip away and have a little interview. I was so excited. This week it worked out, our schedules matched, and I was able to have a wonderful chat with my new friend, Shelby from Scarlet Sky Designs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and clip away and give you a little bit of Shelby in my interview. Hello everyone, I am so excited. Today we have Miss Shelby from Scarlet Sky Designs with us. She is going to talk to us all about her woodworking, her backer boards, her knickknacks, doodads, bits and bobs, all the things made of wood, what you need for your stitching goodness. Hello, Miss Shelby. Hello, how are you? I'm fantastic. I'm so excited you're here with us. I'm and I'm so excited you get to share all, a little bit of your story with us and my people. First of all, I want everyone to pause the video if you don't currently follow Shelby's. Is it just Scarlet Sky Designs is your floss tube? You have a floss tube, right? I do have a floss tube. So, so my yeah. floss tube is different than Scarlet Sky Designs, but you can still find it. My floss okay. tube is actually called Floss and Coffee. Because okay. I am a giant coffee drinker. You guys will probably see me during this drinking coffee. Yeah, and, and we're shooting this at night. And I was like, you're going to go grab your coffee? Okay, cool. You do you, girlfriend. Yeah, okay. I'm one of I couldn't count. people like coffee at night. I will still fall asleep. <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, my gosh. If I drink coffee after 10 a.m., just forget about it. So that's crazy. That's crazy. But yes, yeah, so you need to follow Shelby's floss and coffee. Um, super fun floss tube channel that she tells you her little bit of stitching, a little bit of Scarlet Sky designs at the end. It's a little bit of mesh of the two together. So fun. But let's talk about Scarlet Sky. Like, yes. tell me your story. How, how did you become, how, where did this come from? <laughs> so my story is probably similar to a lot of new stitchers. 
Um, yeah. In the fall of 2020, my mom had been pestering me, and I'm going to say pestering. <laughs> <My mom had, laughs> lovingly, I'm sure. Yeah. Exactly. Lovingly pestering. There we go. Probing. Yeah. How about that? Like, hey, Either. my mom had been selling me for years. Hey, you need to start stitching. You need to start stitching. I'm like, no, nah, I'm okay. I'll, you know, I'm good. <laughs> I would pick it up and like try a couple stitches, like, oh. But then obviously we had the great, you know, yes, fun of yes. 2022. Mm -hmm. um, and in that, I decided that I wanted to try stitching again. You know, yeah. things weren't quite as busy for us. I had a little more downtime. So mm -hmm. I picked up stitching and my first true stitching piece, um, I did a piece by Stitching with Housewives. Okay, and sure. Everybody knows I, them. And, and yeah, that, those are great yeah. gateway drugs, really. <laughs> That's Mm -hmm, exactly. Mm, uh, yeah. So, so anyone watching right now, if you're not watching Stitching with the Housewives, and or you <laughs> have a sure. friend that you want to get into stitching, just send them it's right just, over. Yes, yes, yes. And now, and truthfully, that's how my mom brought me in. She sat me oh, down one day and was like, "Just, just really watch do this. it. Yeah. Just watch yeah. this." And she hook, line, and sinker. I was in, and I mm -hmm. started pretty much stitching right after. <laughs> but um, so I stitched a piece for there and. Because I'd been watching them, I was like, I need to finish this thing. I need to fully finish this thing. Right. What am I going to do? And I had done yeah. one of their cups. You remember their little what's in your cup? Pack? Yes. Yes. It like, looks like little Ray Dunn yes. mug type thing. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So I had done one of the cups and, mm -hmm. you know, I went to my husband because, uh, you know, he's a man. He does woodworking. <laughs> he does these things. Right? Right. Right. <laughs> what do I do with this? Right? Uh -huh. So I went to him and I was like, hey. I want a cup. Like, I want to put this cup on a cup. And at first he was like, really? You want to put a cup on a cup? And I'm like, yes, I want to put yes. a cup on a cup. So, <laughs> so we sat there that weekend. He drew some things up for me and he ended up making me this cup. And okay. so I painted the cup, you know, I went to Home Depot, selected my paint. I was thorough about what I wanted here, you know, right. I, I had my ideas in mind, which we all do, you know, when you're fully <laughs> finishing something, mm -hmm. you have all these ideas in your head. So, so I went, I painted, I slapped that cross stitch on there, put a bow <laughs> on there, some embellishments. Yes. And yeah. I had started following the Stitching with the Housewives Facebook group and I put it mm -hmm. up there. And before you know it, it was just like request, where's this cup? Where do I buy this cup? And I'm like, what did, what did I just do? <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and so my, my husband's name is Shane. And we were sitting there like a couple hours later because my phone was just pinging. And I was like, what yeah. the heck? <laughs> and I looked at him and I was like, uh, you think you can make another cup? <laughs> and or, that, or 10 or, or 100? Or... <laughs> I kid you not. That first like section of orders that we did... I didn't know if we were going to make it because we were so busy. We had so many to do. Had oh <laughs> had there been a fly on the wall that weekend when we were first making all the cups, painting all the cups, getting everything together? <laughs> wow. It was, yeah. But you know what? <laughs> we loved every second of it. And yeah. I just kind of looked at him and I was like, hey, I, I kind of want to keep doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna stitch something else yeah. now. Well, like, you know, because I was still <laughs> stitching at that point. But I was like, I'm kind of having fun with this. He's like, Yeah, this is this is kind of fun. So that's that's basically how we were born. Was the cup? Wow. <laughs> so he already had the laser cutting machine. Nope. So he. Uh, no. No. <laughs> no, no. Not yet. Not yet. You're like, nope. Not yet. So no, but it was a jigs. It was it wasn't a jigs? No, it like, wasn't. We had a CNC because okay. he he does other woodworking stuff too. Okay, um, okay. You know, just for friends, family stuff like that. So he right. had the wood shop, everything like that. Uh, he okay. has another job out outside of this. <laughs> but, oh, oh. You know, besides making cups for you, yeah, <laughs> just cups, just cups. Yeah. <laughs> but so the cup is actually it was CNC cut. Um, the first mm -hmm. one done though, like when. He did the first one that was a jig. So then he, wow. yep, then he did the whole yep. pattern for it and everything like that. And he got the CNC rolling. Then yeah. the laser came along well after. Okay. Well, not well after. Sure. I guess, my gosh, we started in, oh, was that October, September, October, kind of? Of 2020. Of 2020. Yeah, of 2020. Okay. And by okay. December, I purchased the first laser. 
it's something mm-hmm. I had wanted forever. I'm a high school librarian. Right. You know, I'd gone into other places and seen them. I was like, oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing ever. Uh, right. <laughs> so um, we ended up purchasing just a small laser and we mm-hmm. went from there. And just wow. as things progressed, I started doing more and more. I started doing needle minders. Then I started cutting out more wood pieces. And that's wow. how we came along. Wow. Wow. And so your Etsy shop now, how many different pieces are in the Etsy shop now? Currently, we are probably like available probably in the, oh my gosh, maybe 80s or 90s. It depends on the season, wow. you know, because I kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Out. So you do a lot of seasonal pieces. Mm-hmm. So we'll just look. So she says, this, look at this <laughs> cute. This guy is adorable. I'm, of course. So some of your stuff, because you mentioned painting the cups. I'm like, oh my gosh, you were painting the cups. <laughs> oh, so I was, you, I was you painting did, a lot. And I saw on your Instagram, everybody also, I'll, obviously I'll link everything down below, but your Instagram I was like, uh, she's hand painting snowman carrot things. Oh, what yeah. that? <laughs> I was like, what? So fun, real, super fun. So this is cute little Rudolph situation. So I can understand. So seasonally you're coming up with new things. Yes. And so this now, was there a particular, what, what do you envision? Was there a inspiration chart? Cause like the cups was inspired by the stitching with the housewives mm-hmm. pattern. So when you come up with things like, I'm not saying that, did you see a pattern on here? Did you see a globe? So what on you... that one, so Primrose, yeah. um, I was on mm. their, uh, okay. not Instagram, I can't think, their Etsy, you know, I don't know, like three months ago or something. And they had yeah. put out these cute little stitches. So okay, you know, when I around. design a lot of the times or when I'm thinking yeah. about designs, yeah. what I want to potentially do with a final yeah. piece. I will a lot of the time see a particular pattern yeah. and then go from there. It's I'm very much a person of, I design kind of for stuff that I would What you want? I, you're with me, girlfriend. That's exactly how all, everything that I do is born. It's like, I want one of these. Maybe somebody else will want one too. Like, oh, I think it's cute, but yeah, I just hope other people will like it. You never know. Exactly. Exactly. Well, and the, but this one's perfect because it's a nice round. There's so many round patterns yeah. that you could pop in here and finish. And this and the same thing like this one. Okay, this isn't seasonable, seasonable, seasonal. But this is adorable because now you finished this one. You showed I this did. with a, on a merry and bright, and yeah. it kind of pops out. I don't. I want to be able to ship this person new, but it pops out right, yeah. and then you use this as a frame. It's adorable. I have one. Do you want me to show you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have one of those to show? Just because I think that that was ingenious. I was like, it's really like a hoop. Like, for real. I mean, for real. Yes. And they just pop so it. it's And it looks so cute. So it's not just seasonable. Seasonable. Seriously. <laughs> they, I should drink coffee, but I'm not going to. You're good. And then you could add a little ribbon to mm-hmm. it. And ma- it would be an ornament ball or it's a cross stitch hoop. If it's not a seasonable, seasonal. Forget it. I'm not even going to try anymore. <laughs> Not even going to try. And then oh, the other it. one, this was adorable. This is what perfect for the, all those square pieces yes. that they had, that everybody's designing. It's a very popular square thing. And I will show you during the featured day, you will see that I put my featured finish on this and it's so cute, but I already showed, I showed it to Miss Shelby and oh, she approved. So, it's so, adorable. It's but so this, cute. I think it's so cute. I love this. And then of course this Tabasco basket is a perfect ornament like for the round and you just pop it in there or it doesn't have to be an ornament because it doesn't scream Christmas at all on it. So you could just set it up in one of those plant standy thing and that plate, those plate stands and pop it in as a small, just display it all the time. Love it. Now, the one thing that you sent me that I was super intrigued and I'll be honest, when this came, I was on the phone with my mom and I'm like, okay. You're like, what is this? I don't want to know what this is. I was like, mom, do you know what? She's like, a flag. No, not a flag. I was like, no, she did a flag during like 4th of July, which was adorable, by the way. I love that. But I was like, no, this is not that. I don't know what. So do you have one of these? Can you tell us what I can? No. No. (laughs) What that is. So that actually is a floss bobbin holder. So the larger spot, you can put your scissors in there. One of your small sets of scissors will fit not, right yet. Not these, but mm-hmm. smaller ones. Yep. Yes. 
and then we right right in those little slits the groovy mm -hmm. things the yeah. groovy things your bobbins will fit in there in the smaller little slot if you're working with buttons or beads or anything like oh, that, be they yes. fit right in there um i have Ugh. another one because i wasn't sure if you'd want magnets or not so i have ones that have magnets you can set your needle minder right on there to oh and stuff perfect like that, just while you're switching stuff in and out so, so does it come apart is the top? I know, first of all, your packaging is genius. That's, I mean, so it came fantastic. It was perfect. It's wrapped. It's safe. It's gone. We were just talking. We were reminiscing on the woes of shipping, but, the, the, but it's not because your product's not ready to go and handle the, the treacherous commute because it's fantastic. I mean, just packaging this in the cardboard and the shrink wrap, a plus girlfriend, but so is these are, is it two pieces? So it's two, but they're stuck together, which leaves okay. that space. For you to either put yes. bobbins in there, and then you can okay. also, like I have a lot of, uh, you know, I use fancy floss a lot. I know a lot of people yes. use fancy floss. The little yeah. tags will hold up. <gasps> oh, we're going right. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now, <laughs> see, now it makes sense. See, me and my mom were guessing. I, I won't even tell you one of the things that we can I was like, <laughs> You're like I don't what know. is this? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was a, I don't know. Now, I love. Okay, for this is the one I tried to find a finish for because this is the, the is the cutest thing. Now, do you have this in other colors? I do. Oh. So, what are some of the? So, this is also, of course, I should measure it. You probably know. I don't even have to measure. Is it a six by six? So that one. Oh gosh, now I can't think off the top of my head. It it well, it's six wide. It definitely, it definitely. I think I what I you know show it's a it. six by six square yeah. for sure so you could put a five by five, five finish on it and maybe mat it with the you know fabric mm -hmm. if you want it or rick rack or corded trim because that's <laughs> my crack right now so what first of all do you hand paint these i do so i hand paint all of those <laughs> i just dress all of them and you sleep never no yeah, never <laughs> no yeah no there's not much sleep <laughs> Me. No, which is pro we're not going to blame the coffee, but we could. Why? Yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, I can't. So, you know, when I first, like I said, I started with the cups and I was hand paint. Well, I still hand paint everything. Um, so right. that gets hand painted. First it gets stained, then it gets <laughs> painted, then it yes. gets pressed, and then it's got some paste wax on it too. So it's a, I, it's a I'm process. Say, this is not, this is not your average, like <laughs> go to the Hobby Lobby, like first of all, my paint job, I'm like, okay, get the $2 bottle of thing and we're good. We're good. Like put some stuff on. No, I was like, oh, this is first of all, like she's got some paint sprayer system. I don't know, but this is fantastic quality you. and you can, and the distressing on the edges oh again sleep i don't know how you do it i'm sure you don't that's the moral of the story <laughs> so do, you, do these come in different sizes or just the different colors so or... our whale tail comes in just different colors oh it's a whale tail good that's, good to know that okay. was the, the whale tail okay <laughs> of course we have names for everything right oh because it's off the fun it's that what i, I want to be a paint colored namer in my, my next life favorite part yes like, you'll see on there a day where i'm feeling extra creative <laughs> <laughs> if you go on there you'll see like some of the names that i give for colors i'm sure some of my customers have been like okay i'll take the, yeah. the red <laughs> add your card i don't know what she was but yes yeah. i'll take one of those yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so in the whale towel right now, I've got the, obviously that green right there. Um, I've got yeah. red, a black, a white, just stained yeah. boards. Some of like one of my favorite boards that I do are just my stained wood boards. Oh my gosh. So that that's like the, um, the Rudolph one, yes, like, right? That's exactly just like it's, here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is beautiful. It's yeah. So we have yeah, to it's, so it's not just the raw wood. Like these are just the raw wood. Yes. These are not that one. That's this one's meant for me to finish. Yes, exactly. Yes. So this one's meant for me to finish. This is just the raw birch wood. No, so that was maple. Is, yeah, that one's maple. Okay, so this is just raw maple. I don't. I speak. I speak fabric, not wood. But um. So this is the, this is ready for me to paint or stain or whatever I want to yeah. do, and then this one's got a nice neutrally stain on it. Mm -hmm. So that's Beautiful. our see. This is I was feeling. You know, okay. that's our yeah. harvest brown stain. Oh yeah. I mean, <laughs> why wouldn't it be harvest brown? I, I'm sure I could have guessed <laughs> that. Yes. 
Well, it is so fantastic. So many. So anything new coming in the pike for next year for 2023? There what do you got? Are, so there's some new things coming. I just put out a couple of new items as well. Some different frames that are coming out. Uh, we have a new board that like attaches to each other and you could do like a whole series on it. It has oh. two, you can buy it with three, four, and so forth. So it's like a full series holder and it kind okay. of stretches out. You know, like the, uh, like, oh, I can't even think what they're called. Ah! I can't think of what it's called. <laughs> We're like Vogue. You know, like yeah. I know um, exactly, right? Yeah. <laughs> trifolds that they used to, do you remember? Trifolds? Like the room divider yeah. screens, but yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was like, okay. this is like what charades, but thing? with. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. But yeah. it's like a trifold board, but you can add others in it so you could do a whole series on it. Okay. Um, I have yes. some new things coming in 2023. Um, mm -hmm. I've kind of so this people don't know this yet, but we'll we'll throw it out there. <laughs> but we're moving to a website format too that I've been working on for far too long. So any right. like oh. developer, like developers or builders out there, you're amazing. Just going to yeah. throw that out there because, yeah. oh man, it takes So time. you're coming off of Etsy in, in 2023? So I'll still keep my Etsy, but yeah. we're moving in. We're starting to expand and things along those lines. So yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going to do a website as well. And yeah. then I'll start. So my floss tube has happened to take, unfortunately, a little bit of a backseat. Right. Because, so you know, you, you've got 27 <laughs> things to do above it. I, I understand. <laughs> Hand painting, web yeah. developing, oh. you know, day job, coffee, <laughs> laser, all the things. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. But don't worry. It's coming back. I promise. So those of you that haven't watched yet, catch up. And then it'll yeah be oh for sure for binge, binge away binge away yeah. and we did talk real quick and so I don't I know that a lot of my people uh, subscribe or went to the jingle ball this last yes. weekend and you were there and I were there and we were you know all the jingling things I spent way but much money I don't know about you Bill. Oh, see, you know, money. listen, listen, it was just, it, it was, I won't say it's a problem. It's good. It's great. I love it. Supporting all the people and you're right there. Exactly. So, but the one thing that we were talking about, and I just want to put this ear, this bug in everybody's ear is those trees, those trees. Like, of course I added to card immediately. <laughs> Everybody knows what I'm talking about. The, the, the quilty star yes. trees. I don't even know the, the what tree they're lot, right. Isn't it the tree? Yes, lot? Oh, man. Yes. And of course, so in true Shelby fashion, you're like, okay, so I'm going to stitch the trees. I need a back. You probably haven't even stitched them yet. No, but, I, I but, just but do you have a backer for them? Oh, yes. Yes, you of do. Course. Yeah. Well, because that's how my brain thinks. Oftentimes, yeah. I build the, the backer in my brain. <laughs> Like while I'm work backwards and getting ready. Yeah. So yeah, the backer got built before I can. That's just how my brain works. I can't. Maybe it. it's to like inspire you, to encourage you to actually get to the finish line. I can get that. I can see like I have to chug along. I have to finish it because I have the board now. Right. So I can't not. Yeah. Exactly. But so I'm going to pop in a picture here at the end of, because you, you snuck those, you showed us that on your Instagram yes. page. And I immediately saw that either Monday or Tuesday after the jingle ball is like, where are these on my life? I need, <laughs> I, again, haven't even kitted them up. Haven't even opened the PDF that I bought, but I know that I need those too. So I'm an enabler, what can I say? Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I think we all are right. If you're, if yes, you're I think that we all just share. We all just go, you do you, I do me. And we all just get you on know, Kumbaya. Yay. Well, Shelby, this was so fun and I am so glad you could come and tell us a little bit about your story a little bit. I don't know. Listen, people say I don't sleep. I think you don't sleep more than I don't sleep, which is crazy. But I'm excited to see what you've got in 2023. I'm excited to, you know, add the trees to cart, put those in my whip pile forever. <laughs> so we shall see. Well, thank you so much, thank Shelby. Thank you for having me. And just briefly show you Scarlet Sky Designs Etsy shop so you can see some of these pieces in person. It's so much easier to see them in real life in usage, in the colors versus just, 
you know, seeing them in action. So this is that cute little snowman we were talking about, how she had to hand paint. She's hand painting all these things. And you can see here you can pop a finish on it. It's adorable. But one thing I thought that you needed to see, like, how does this work? Is this super adorable project bobbin organizer that we talked about during her episode and so you can see how you can throw in bobbins or the fancy floss cards upside down throw your scissor in the top and you're good to go super adorable now of course she's got so many different backer boards that are ready for your cross stitch Ooh, look at this cute little Santa ornament. He is so cute. So, of course, we are talking about how you can come over here and choose your size option as well as your finish, whether she wants her Harvest Brown stain, a Nora stain, which I'm guessing is black, Espresso, original, lots of options for you to customize it. Here's that reindeer ornament. This is the one that I put my adorable little Plum Street finish on so you can get a wide or a tall lots of options here on her Etsy shop and she's got cute little embellishments and these are the ones where she's painted it for you holy moly look at that girlfriend never sleeping I think look at these cute little needle minders so let's go ahead oh look at this cute little chunky snowman with his top what a cute little board that is so it's five inches wide by six and a half tall Beautiful little fun chunky shelf setter finish block for you to pop on there and finish. This was that cute little, um, I know it's Christmas, but I, I'd seen this earlier in the summer. I thought this was an adorable finish. I think I'm definitely going to put a fun little Independence Day backer board on this. Add some quilt fabric. You know that is my jam. So let's go ahead. Make sure you give her a follow. On Etsy or on Instagram, you will see here Scarlet Sky Designs. She is on here. Go ahead and give her a follow on Instagram. She comes over here. Oh, these are those trees we were talking about the, from the Jingle Ball. If you know, you know. The hands-on design has an adorable little tree. She's got this base you pop into it. So, of course, she's coming up with the finishing before you've even finished the stitching. And this is a cute little... Um, floss keep needle minder that she's got for us it's adorable and last but not least I do want to show you here is her floss and coffee floss tube channel she hasn't been here for a while because the girlfriend is busy doing the lasering and the painting and the handing and the website development and wearing every hat as all of us small business owners do but she is here sometimes go and check her out give her a Floss and Coffee a subscription, and you can join her in the fun. Wasn't that fantastic? Now, I did show you some of the little sneak peeks of what Shelby sent us, but I have it here just to get a little close up and personal, not so that way you don't have a double screen. I do want to show you some of the things that Shelby sent us up close and personal. First, let me go ahead and just show you because I did spoiler about it during the interview. I want to just, let's jump right into the Tiger Lily finish, shall we? Because I, let me just show you, so sneak peek. This is the board that I finished it on. Now, I told you Shelby wraps everything in this beautiful plastic wrap so it stays safe. And this is her Harvest Brown stain, I think is what we decided this one was called. So this is a cute square five by five ish and memory serve me that this is what this is okay so when I saw this in my package that Shelby sent me I knew exactly what finish needed to go on it thankfully I'd already slated and finished the stitch a few months ago so it was ready to go and if you remember the pair of it right here so this one I showed you guys I don't even know. All my days are a blur. But this one was also during Stitch Mess. This is a Plum Street Samplers Stitch. And that was one of their Merry Pillows. Remember I told you there was a Merry one, two, three? I don't remember which is which. But you'll get it. So, and I stitched two of them. And two of them are going to be part of the finish. So when I saw this one, and it's got a little jingle ball too. When I saw this finished board that came from Shelby, I knew it was perfect for this other Merry one. Let me just show you. I mean, I just fell out of my chair with excitement of how fantastic. I just love it so much. So this is, like I said, this is the Plum Street 
and I'm sorry, I should really do better <laughs> in remembering which Mary this is. But I, I promise if you Google Plum Street Mary Pillows or Mary Smalls, there's three of them. Um, I haven't started the third one. It's coming. But I went ahead, like I said, this is Shelby's fantastic antler board. I finished it on a sticky board, of course, added my new, I have to put custom cord on everything cord. So cord around it, a little bit of sprigs from a Hobby Lobby haul, some faux holly berries because see the holly berries and the thing. Okay. Yeah. And then I added a ribbon right through this. That's what I figured that was for. So it was perfect. This, I just love it. So this is stitched on. Yep. So this is again before my project tracker information card. So this is me guessing and remembering because I certainly did stitch this one back in the spring of 22. You could probably go back and figure it out if you watch some of my floss tubes back then. Um, I'm going to guess it's 18 or 20 count. Definitely do the math if you want to be able to finish it on Shelby's gorgeous board. Do the math to see if it needs to be 18 or 20. It's definitely a hand dyed Picture this plus, so that's also a tight weave. Um, but do some math and figure it out. But I love this finish so much. All right, friends, so let me show you up close and personal. Again, like I showed you some of the things during the video. So she sent us this gorgeous, as we learned, it's called the whale tail board. Lots of different options and colors. Now, I don't think we showed this one during the video. Oh, let me get my glare off. This is her adorable. I should have taken it out of the package. Let's see if I can. Well, she certainly doesn't make it easy, does she? Well, that's good. That's what you want. But it's a needle. So this is for your floss, right? That's a floss dial as well as this has a magnet. So it's a needle minder. It's a needle minder floss dial combo. Adorable. We talked about this. She showed us this adorable finish during the um, interview. I've got two of these boards as well as a pair of Rudolph and then one of the other reindeers. So adorable. She has some great finishes where she just puts that finish. So I almost put this guy right here on this because, you know, that would have been too, that would have been cute too. And he would have just been a shelf sitter. Um, I'm kind of struggling with tabletop areas right now in my, I don't have enough tables. More ash. So I have lots of treats. So I'm sticking with the ornaments. But this would be super cute if you've got mantles and tables and galore. I think that would also look adorable right there on the Rudolph. So today's giveaway, like I told you, it's one daily giveaway. Um, but it's jam packed. So you're going to get an assortment of goodness from Miss Shelby. So you get a Rudolph. You get a uh, um bobbin organizer oh you're gonna get this adorable snow globe snow globe so there's gonna be lots of goodness so in today's giveaway daily giveaway remember use the word mary you're gonna get an assortment of finishing boards and products and stitchy goodness from miss shelby at scarlet sky designs thanks to her generous donation um and then you're also gonna get what's next but so there's gonna sort assortments going into the daily prize and the other assortment is going into the grand prize giveaway. So lots of good stuff. Get excited. I am too. So make sure you give Shelby some love on Instagram and Etsy. And I'm excited. Hopefully you all saw something that you might need to add to cart. But she's got a lot of great stuff coming in 2023. She told us about it. So make sure you follow along because I'm excited. All right, friends, so that was Miss Shelby and Scarlet Sky Designs. So what I do, I want to tell you about now is our next featured small business. Our next featured small business is Sophia Violet Designs. So let's go ahead and clip away and we'll walk through their social media and Etsy shop first. Sophia Violet Designs. Now this is a unique and lovely handmade thread keep business. I was super excited to find them and share them with you. So this is run by a woman named Casey. She is a stay at home mom of three children. And this business was actually started by her mom, Gina, a few years ago. But life got busy for Gina, so Casey has taken over and is starting to work through these businesses, or to work through this shop. So 
Gina came up with the name. She named the shop Sophia Violet after two of her granddaughters. And she's got super adorable, fun, handmade thread keeps. We all know that adding the accoutrement to your thread drops is super fun. And so this is her Instagram page. Let's go ahead and give her a follow if you don't already. She loves to share new products. So she's got beautiful, like I said, she's got a black, she had a Black Friday sale going on. So you definitely want to give her a follow. A lot of designers share their sales on social media. So it's a cute little thread cape. It's got the hand tag as well as some bling, whether it's a charm or a button or a jewelry or a tag, lots of options all super cute. Now, where can you get some of these items? Of course, she's got an Etsy shop. So let's pop on over there. Give this shop a follow. And you can see that right now she's got 54. These are all ready to ship items. So put it in your cart and she will ship it out. It ships out real fast and it comes beautifully packaged. You will see when we're going to show you some of the ones she sent us in person. But not only is it a beautiful quality, it comes beautifully packaged for you to gift for yourself or to gift to someone else. It's a fantastic beautiful product and I love supporting this small business. It's a unique she she's always coming up with new designs. Here's a beaded zipper pool. So it's not just thread keep. She's also got some beaded zipper pools that you could add to your project bag or a scissor fob maybe. Lots of options to choose from. She's always coming up with a new selection. So did you have you heard of them? Of course you know Floss styles and bling, blinging all of our stuff is just fun, right? And so everything, if you have a floss ring and you use the floss drops, you want to add a little bling to your binder clip ring situation. So she's got some super cute ones to choose from. And I love her story about it being her mom's business. And then she took over and named after the granddaughters. Adorable. Like I said, that's that's the one of the perks of small businesses is you get to get a little bit of the background and there's a story to it. It's not just big corporations. There's a story and, and who you're supporting, you know, it means a lot. So anyway, I do want to show you some of the things that Casey sent us and I'm super excited. Like I said, I'm going to show you in real person, up and close and personal. So she sent me this, came in this gorgeous organza bag and her business card. But of course, everything will be linked down below for you to follow her on Instagram and check out her Etsy shop. She's got lots of things ready to ship. So plenty of time to add to your stocking. Um, so let's see. So this is one of the ones she sent us and it's a classic. Obviously, DMC is a staple in the world of embroidery stitching and cross stitch and of course, the logo that comes with it. Now. I don't have my glasses today. I don't know where they are, but it's so cute. So it's a wonderful binder clip um, and then a nice heavy duty. So it's a nice silver back with a resin covered um, pendant. And then also, so you have an option. This is, at least I view it as an option. Maybe you don't want, so if you just wanted to have the binder clip, just be the DMC resin tag, which is adorable. It's kind of like a two for one. With this one, you have this cute little this cute little accent bobble, which has got scissors and a thimble and buttons, and it's on a lobster claw clasp. So you could put this lobster claw clasp on something else if you wanted, like a two for one. Or you could have your floss drop bobbin just super blinged out with both of them but i love that it's not just on a jump ring that it's on a lobster clasp so you can switch it up if you want to so she sent us that one as well as this one which is adorable again also on a lobster class it's a collection of buttons and a spool of thread and it's a sweet little sheep fun binder clip and then she also sent us two adorable and so these are also lobster claw um clasps but it's the larger lobster claw clasps and so these would be perfect gorgeous oh this is a little fabric covered 
Wow, adorable. Listen, love that. So cute little lobster claw clad. Look how long that is. I should measure it. But I'm going to guess this is about four inches. This is probably six. Look at that beautiful tree. So this is some bling for your scissors, or it could be bling for a zipper pull on a project bag, a project keeper, wherever you need some bling in your life. Like I said, it's a nice chunky lobster clip, which is gorgeous and fantastic. So that is Miss Sophia Violet Designs. Make sure you go and give her Instagram some love, her Etsy shop, see if there's something you need to add to cart. So friends, that is today's episode. Day nine, are you excited? Have you filled out your card? Did you comment down below? Because you want to win. So obviously, so there's gonna be um, an assortment of Sophia's in the daily prize as well as the giveaway. So it's just gonna surprise what you get, but I hope you found something that you liked um, and I will see you tomorrow, friends. Happy Stitchmas.